my boobs out. And uh, yeah, we're trying to decide what we want the look to be. We're thinking like a matte orange, maybe a bit of shimmer. I don't, I actually love, orange makes my blue eyes pop so much and it's been like my favorite lately. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. Look at my eyeshadow in your top. It's mm -hmm. such a vibe. <laughs> we are fully leaning in to this Y2K moment. I'm no wearing idea. the orange. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I was telling the girls, this is my first time doing Glam Squad. I don't know if you guys have that in your city, but it was really fun to do this for myself. I like never do stuff like this for myself. So just like going all out. Why not? We have a rhinestone choker. We have butterfly clips. We have a sweat stash kick in. It's hot. Oh my gosh, this is all happening. I'm so excited. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I'm getting really excited about this. You're saying you didn't have any orange. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Here's the final look. I decided to change into this tank top. I felt like the other one was just like too booby and there's nothing wrong with that, but it just felt like I was supposed to get drinks with my friend before we decided to just meet at the event. But I'm just gonna show you guys. How far back can I get here? Yeah, it's cute, right? Do we like? I don't know, I'm still getting used to my hair. Like I'm not used to wearing it like so tight right here and it makes me feel not the cutest. We're stepping outside of our comfort zone. We're showing up for ourselves, we're having fun. Yeah, another thing about this event is I feel like I have anxiety around it because it's a Revolve event and I feel like those are all like notoriously like super skinny, super fashionable girls. Also, I feel like they all have like bigger social media followers. It's like this imposter syndrome that pops up again and again. And I talked to you guys about this at the Dolce Vita event. And when I went, I found my people. And it's like our people are everywhere, you know? They are. And I feel like it's not fair of me to like decide, oh, like no one's going to be nice to me or I'm going to feel like this way. Like that's all my old insecurities. And this week, this year, this moment, I'm trying to tell myself a different story. And so I'm like hyping myself up. I'm like, I belong to be in this room just as much as anyone else. I was invited. What a novel idea. Just even realizing like I was actually invited. That means I'm allowed to go. Um, I had fun with my outfit. Like I'm trying to like not self-sabotage by waiting to the last minute to get ready and then feeling sweaty and stressed. Like I'm giving myself time. I'm investing in myself. I'm giving myself space and I'm having fun and I'm being brave enough to like take risks with my fashion and have fun with it and not take it so seriously. Cause I think all those things combined equal me not showing up as my best self. And then if I'm not showing up as my best self, if I'm so preoccupied with my, myself being the key word, I'm not able to hold space for other people. And I really honestly feel like I was put here to like hold space for other people and encourage other people. And if I'm so self-centered, so wrapped up in my own stuff and in my own mind that I can't show up for like, I don't know, that I can't like get out of my own mind that I'm too busy being self-conscious. I'm actually being very self-centered and I'm not actually like there to hold space for other people or get to know other people or be a light for anyone else. So it's not all about me. Weird, right? It's not all about us. That's what I try to remember when I'm going through stuff or I'm feeling insecure is that everybody's only really worried about themselves. And if you can just step outside of that and just have true connection with people, that's what matters. And for some reason, I feel like I am in these spaces and I'm going to enjoy them and I'm going to represent for us curvy girls and I'm going to have fun with it. but it was much more, oh my God, I'm picking rubber bands from that hairstyle out of my hair. Um, I was on TikTok, I went live on TikTok. First of all, that's a whole nother battle. If you guys were on that, <laughs> comment below and tell me that you were on that TikTok live because that was wild. I've never done that before and all these random boys kept trying to like battle me and they like get, I don't understand, okay? They like get gif. I don't understand. I, like I said, I have no, no place in this new social media world, 
but my hair is full of all these little rubber bands because um, you guys, the people on my live were so smart and they were like, oh, take a curling iron and it'll zzz, like the little rubber bands off. So I did. So thank you so much for that. Tonight was very, very fun at the event, but I definitely feel a bit out of my element. I feel like lately, like going out, like, I don't know, I've been doing this for so long and now there's just like a whole new crop of like literal teenage children <laughs> who are like TikTokers at these things. And I'm just like, I don't know. It's just a wild world. There's just so many and I just feel like I changed over quarantine. Like I feel like I just observe it. And I think I just long for real human connection over making content, over like taking photos of myself. Like I was there with my manager and she was like reminding me like, hey, do you want a photo? And I was like, well, I guess, like not really. But obviously I love taking photos and I always will. And I love getting dressed up. And I think that that's why I wanted to go tonight. And that's why I want to go to this event tomorrow is because I think I haven't given myself occasions to really get dressed up and getting dressed up used to just make me so happy. And I think anymore, I kind of just try to like conform to what other people are doing, or I just don't put that much effort into myself. Even though this is my job, I feel like it's more like trying things on and like just like getting through things and not like a relishing in getting dressed up and having fun just for the sake of enjoying the moment. So that's something I really want to focus on, but my hair is feeling like really crunchy and crusty. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna style it tomorrow for Bridgerton. I might try and do some clip and bangs. I might try to do some, I don't know, something fun. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys what I got at um, Revolve. Some of you on the live might have already seen what I got, but I just thought I would show you. They let us like shop there. So um, I found this dress that I thought was really cute. I actually have like a mega try on that I need to do for you all. I have like just so many random little bits and bobs that I've been like receiving and tr like getting and haven't tried on. So I, I got this dress I thought was really, really cute. It's so soft, like it's like the coziest sweater. And then I got this two piece set, which LOL, like I do not even know what I'm gonna wear this to and like what business I have even doing this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. It's like this little crocheted set. So this is a skirt and then it has the top. I can definitely wear the sweater, like a little sweater top with jeans or something. But I just don't know what I would do with the bottoms. But I just was like, why not? <sighs> I thought they were so cute. Like, I've been eyeing this online. They have another, like, purple set similar to this. And I've been eyeing it online. And then they had it there in my size. They had the extra large in the skirt. And they didn't have that online. And so I felt like maybe it was meant to be. It was nice to see a lot of curvy girls. I definitely feel like they're leaning into kind of expanding to more curvy girls. I feel like a lot of their stuff has been coming more in extra larges. But I really should take my makeup off. And I'm... Probably not going to. Guys, I don't want to. I just want to go to bed. I want snacks or bed. I don't want to wash off my makeup. I'm going to look in this mirror and this will tell me that I need to. You don't want to know else I don't want to wash it off because this eyeshadow is so good. I can't do this myself. It looks like a sunrise on my face. Cool, I have wing sauce on my lip. I can't, I'm not kind of, uh, ugh, whatever. It's time for bed. I feel like there was something else I was going to tell you guys. Oh, I have this super cute swimsuit here from Be Try It that I want to try on. There's just so many fun, colorful things. I'm so happy that fashion is going back to being colorful because I've just been wearing neutrals for too long. And it's weird because I bet a lot of you have joined me on my journey while I was wearing neutrals. And you may not even know that I was a very colorful girl before that. So that's the thing with fashion. You just get to have fun. You get to experiment. But I definitely feel like I'm a bit of a 60s, 70s flower child kind of girl. So I think I'm just going to start leaning in to having fun with my clothes again in a new way and not just wear what I think is flattering or what I think people want me to wear. I feel like I just want to wear what excites me and what makes me smile. And I feel like that one pair of floral anthropology pants that you guys know about kind of like sparked that journey for me. Anyway, we had a good day. We worked out. We had a nice time out put effort into my appearance, filmed some fun videos. I got to see Sparky for a little bit today. So it was a good day. I hope you guys had a good day too. I'll catch you tomorrow when we get ready for the Bridgerton freaking fall. I cannot believe it tomorrow. And I'm so freaking excited. Ah! I can't feel farther away. Wait on a moment to say that I want you. You know that I want you.
your sudden gaze And time is started racing But moments tend to fade And you're too far away for me to get my So I'm gonna go in this infrared sauna They gave me a little thing They gave me these like really cool ice balls And water Got the whole setup And then there's a shower I've never done an infrared sauna my first time in an infrared sauna I don't, so they had a cryo which i've done before and i just wasn't in the mood for it today and then they had like cold plunge dipping with um i think also infrared was it maybe and then they just had infrared and then they had a hyperbaric like oxygen chamber they gave us these like ice balls which all i can think about is this belongs in a cocktail oh this feels so good and i put this like thing on my neck i don't even remember how long i'm supposed to stay in here it's a really cool place though. It's so beautiful in here. Like, yeah. I think they are, they're doing like vitamin shots after, which I'm kind of scared of too. <laughs> a wimp. Oh, frick, this feels so good though. Just like rubbing ice on your body in a hot room. Highly recommend. I wish you the best. I sat on my father's grave I smoked a cigarette Putting thoughts of you like him To rest and I wait Like an actor with scripted lines Absorbed in his own designs Too anxious to make an effort to Vlogging from the phone, got some film for my camera, but man, I was looking at vlogging cameras. Luckily, good news, my G7X is still alive. I just have to get home and charge her, but oh, I found this new camera and I really, really want it. And I have had my trusty G7X since like, it's like the first camera I got when I was starting doing all this stuff. So I've had it since like 2016 or 17, 2000, no, 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 2015 or 16. So we love her and it's sentimental, but um, what was the name of the one that we were looking at? The Z, ZV1. the ZV1. Um, if you guys are into camera stuff, or comment below. The Sony ZV E10. The ZV E10. We are here. Oh my god! I didn't want to peek. I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna look. I just like glance and I saw some pink. I'm not gonna look. Um, it's my friend Justine. Justine and I have known each other for eight million years. How many? Like fifteen? Yeah. We like grew up in Omaha like we didn't like we like knew each other from back in Nebraska so Justine is like pulling out a Bridgerton look for me we're doing this makeup I'm very excited Eww, oh my gosh I learned a very interesting trick if you put a lighter color in your waterline it can really open up the eye but it can't be white it needs to be like skin tone or like a light pinky color and i wish i would have shown you guys the before and after because i had one eye that was done and one that wasn't and i've kind of known that trick but i had never seen it as clearly as when she did it when you do because i was like scared of the darker under my eyes and it literally created like a whole nother section of eye that just opened my eyes up made it so much bigger if you guys want a video that shows like makeup tips that you maybe haven't tried that are like makeup artist hacks like justine has done it all she has been working in the industry forever and she knows so if you want a video from us about hacks like that, comment below, let us know, and we can do a makeup video. Um, Actually, also, all your makeup questions below, like any makeup questions, any tips, tricks, or tutorials you want, comment below, and we will make videos for you. Hey, oh my god, this is fun! Keeps getting better. We're doing this little, like, half of, like, curl moment. We're really committing to the theme today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gosh, what a moment. Um, no. 
like this. We both have gloves. I look like Cinda Mother of freaking Rella. This is too much. But at least I have my Nikes on. That I can't seem to draw the line. So she just put magic cream on my hands and look at the difference between this hand already and this hand. That is crazy. Oh my God. Whoa. That is, it actually is crazy. Oh my God, it feels so good. 